But I'm really excited to show you guys because my favorite like skill tree involves the mountain. Mm. So we just have a guy here right now. We're just we were looking at dudes oh, while sorry. we were waiting. It's okay, don't worry about it. Here we go. <laughs> uh, it's a okay, good man. All right. So not today, says Cesar. So before we jump into talking about any of these guys, let's talk a little about about caragors. Mm -hmm. Mike, what is a caragor? Oh, you mean within the context of Mordor itself? Yeah, let's start with that. Yeah, so Mordor is kind of the most dangerous and extreme ecosystem right. or ecology within all of Mordor. Uh -huh. And they're the ultimate predators within Mordor. Uh -huh. So it's really taking that idea of what is a warg uh -huh. to a wolf. Right. You know, they're bigger, they're faster, they're more dangerous, they're right. smarter, they're more cunning. And how do we apply that same idea to a predator ah. within Mordor? Uh -huh. So a caragor is to a lion or a tiger or a big feline right. what a warg is to uh -huh. a wolf. Because we just wanted to, to awesome. one up. You know, yeah. they basically have this is the tiger to the to the wolf, but within the context of Middle Earth. Oh, gotcha. And That's plus, awesome. being cats, um, they let us do things that we couldn't do just with wolves or right, wargs. Right. So they're stealthy, they can pounce. They can climb. Um, Show so some of it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so go ahead and press B a couple times so we get out into the open world. Okay. All right, Here so we we're going to find one real quick. Go ahead and enter the Wraith world to see if we can spot one pretty easily. I'm checking the mini-map as well. Hmm. There's that outpost over here. Yeah, there's that outpost right over there. We can get some bait if we need to. And that'll work as a perfect way. Let's see. Oh, I'm starting to see some questions coming in. Oh, there's feral tribe here as well, so oh, yeah. it's going to be generally pretty beastly. Don't remove the Drake base. We must save it for later. Okay, I, pro I promise. <laughs> I will not attract any Drakes. Cool, cool. Like this one. No. <laughs> like this one right now. No, no, I won't. I, won't. I really won't. There's some Karagor bait. There's some, let's go ahead and grab some, yeah. Little oh, right, yes, come on. Where's Ellie when you need her? Let's see. No... No talk at all. Well, just for you. There's your dab. Now buy two gold editions like you said you would. Uh, I love how the overload is... Uh, he doesn't need it. Oh, I have to defend right now. All right, so we're going to get ourselves a Karagor real quick. So, the first move in the mounted skill tree is Karagor Ride. It allows you to jump on and to ride Karagors and able to use them. What is Mike demonstrating right now is that Karagoras have the ability to sprint real fast. If you run through guys, you can knock them over. If you hit people with a glaive, which is one of the fantastic awesome things that you get to use when you're running Karagor, is you have the glaive and it can knock over opponents. Also, you can then eat the guys right after you knock them over. You can do executes on a Karagor as well. You saw the little icon for counter popping up of the guy's head. And every time that we knock a guy over, Mike is actually doing a, like, a down strike. I like that you can quick throw off oh, yeah. the Karagor, which you couldn't do last time. Oh, and that can let you build up to the executions that can then let you take these guys' heads off. Oh, hell yeah. So, one of the other things that you have in relation to this is that every time that Karagor eats a guy who's down on the ground, he's going to get some health back. Yeah, careful, don't knock that yet. I'm not, no, I promise, <laughs> I promise. No, no drink. So, if you guys look in the bottom left of the screen, you can see the red uh, semicircle that's our health bar, and another one just next to it that's it's partly out. That is the Karagor's health bar. So, anytime we eat someone, that will go up. Anytime the Karagor gets hit, it will go down. This is awesome. I think now would be a good opportunity to show how well Karagor can climb. Okay, just finish this guy. <laughs> go for it. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see, a couple right. questions popping up. Uh, from John Blakey. Did Beastmasters have any kind of counter move for Karagors? That was an awesome jump across. That's a fun question, which is... So, Beastmasters... Often have um, Slayer, so they'll right. very often have the Beast Slayer or Monster Slayer skill. So, and if they've got that skill, they can take down your Karagor immediately, whether you're riding it or not. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so Beastmasters are definitely someone you're going to want to look out for if you're on your Karagor. Ologs can also knock you off if you're on your Karagor as well. So they're particularly dangerous. Right. So this is a good demonstration. Go ahead and uh, see that archer up on that up there. Go ahead and do a stealth attack with your Karagora and take him out. Oh, all right. <laughs> Don't shoot him. Ah. <laughs> we want to show off the uh, 
So you can, because you can stealth with a Karagor as well. Which is something, it's just the pounce right there. Arr! That will get you more health back. No to Hermit, per core. Well done. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, so. You can so do a bit of feline death from above, too. You can. Please demonstrate. Uh, going rawr is required anytime that you pounce on anything. It's just, that's how you play the game. You can counter as well. You can counter as well. We'll see a question from Muro1408, which is, are Karagats obsolete now? And I believe, Mike, if you can answer that one. That is a good question. Um, effectively, if you notice, we've also got the fur here, and these guys are a bit darker. Uh -huh. So basically, everything that the Karagaths could do in Lord of the Hunt, uh, now the normal Karagors can do. So Karagors have had an upgrade cool. and so learned to be combo. sneakier. Yeah. Okay. So they're, so what you did with Karagaths, you can pretty much be doing with Karagaths. Yeah, that's what we added. Really was that ability for, for stealth in particular. All right. And uh, just as a reminder for everybody, since we're focusing on mounted skills and like beasties of Mordor, we're going to be answering questions related to that specifically. So if you have questions that are kind of unrelated, then I might miss, or if I don't read them, that's why. It's not that I'm ignoring you. Um, let's see, so... Ooh, this is going to... Let's go ahead and show off some of the Karagor abilities in the skill tree. You're great. So, the mounted skill tree is the one at the bottom. There we go. We have Karagor Rider. And so, once you have done so, you're able to dominate the Karagor after you break in them. And we also have Pounce, which is a nice move that allows you to increase health whenever you are stealthing. And then uh, Bestial Rage is actually a pretty complicated one. Should Mike explain a little bit more? Yeah, this is a great skill. So as we saw, uh, basically now when you're fighting mounted, it right. works just the same as when you're fighting on foot, that you can build up your might bar and then you can use that to release all sorts of special attacks, so right. area attacks or executions. Mm -hmm. And what we've added is you can now do that in the mounted combat as well. So it makes our mounted combat a lot deeper. But what Bestial Rage lets you do is pull off those moves at any time but instead of needing your might to be full, you can do it using the health of right. your mount. So it's a little bit cruel to your beastie, but it can be very effective. <laughs> Actually, uh, Hit Freak has a perfect question, which is, can you summon more than one Karagor? Ah, and so let's, let's, uh, let's, let's demonstrate. Yes, indeed, using, uh, using that. Mm -hmm. so. so when your might is full, or if you use Beastial Rage, yep. you can summon another Karagor whilst riding a Karagor by roaring. As so, and you see just behind us, hey, another Karagor! So now we have two Karagors. Actually, I just realized you can probably cheat this quite a bit. To, There's another one. <laughs> so they're going to arrive faster than uh -huh. my cruel ability to kill this guy. Right. It's uh, normally, though, they have to be relatively near you, or a couple of rules that we won't explain too much quite right now, but that you're able to summon them and use the fact that you can then get your health back by eating other guys yep. in order to keep using these abilities. Uh, Fikadelic, can you use Bestial Rage and then go to another Karagor and use it again and replete it forever? Yeah, go yep. for it. And just keep hopping around. Uh, Panther17x wants hit you to know that you are his favorite school. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Except for Bruce, obviously. Except for Bruce, yeah, obviously. Mm. Alright, so let me make sure that we've covered a lot of this, because Karagors are super fun. Oh! Ooh, this is the fun one. So. Uh, go ahead and get not into a fight, but far enough away from a fight that we can stealth and hop off the Karagor. Because I want, we want to demonstrate a little bit about... No, no, don't even... Wait, wait, oh. <laughs> He's hungry! There, there's going to be a little camp to your left. And so we can show you guys something pretty cool about this. Uh, oh, this only applies if we have the Karagor who is... We can we summon one. Okay. Because well, we have that skill as well. Right. So. We will have to hunt a Grog though if we do that. Because if we have a cool Oh, run, I see. Uh, That's okay. We're not, are we in a rush? Uh, no, not necessarily. Go ahead and summon one. Okay. So we're going to summon a Karagor, which is a... We'll talk about the Call Mount ability a bit more. Let's oh. actually talk about the Dire Karagor now. Ooh. Why not, since he's she's, here? She's, she's, she. She's she? here. Oh, excuse me. They're like hyenas. They're matriarchal. All right. Go more, see that guy who's highlighted in white, everybody? Yeah. So Mike can tap left on the directional pad to command the Karagor to go off and kill. <laughs> nice. So Karagors are also able to fight on their own too with their own AI. Oh, there's one other cool beast thing I have to show. I'm going to drain this rat. <laughs> another... <laughs> handy way to get health. It's another way to get health, yeah. Okay, so my favorite feature about the Dire Karagor, which you got to get this guy before mm -hmm. he gets killed. Okay, because okay, it's... Uh, 
We'll talk about Shadow Mountain a little bit too, which we just demonstrated. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Go ahead and show what happens when you take a dire Karagor to another set of Karagors that aren't yet ours yet. Uh, and explain it when you we, we get to find some. Yeah, we gotta find some. We're gonna look for a few. Yeah, I'll get some. Oh, perfect. So, Mike, what happens when you take a Derek Karagor? And well, these guys us? are the masters of the pack. These are the dominant um, members of the mm -hmm. Karagor pack. So, when you find other wild Karagors, that dominance is going to assert itself. Well, there's one right there. The second one's been oh, dominated. There you go. Two. Come on. Sometimes, if they're in the yeah, middle of a yeah. fight, they get distracted. Oh, all right, hang on. Oh, oh there, there we goes, go. There it goes. So, hey! we now have. Oh, we lost one in the fight. But we now have a pretty good pack oh, yeah. of Karagors here, as well as this guy. Oh, that was awesome. So, in, what you guys just got to see is the fact that a Dire Karagor not only is a stronger Karagor, but it also has the ability to dominate other Karagors that are unfriended, or excuse me, undominated. And uh, this will apply to when, if you kick a, a Grunt off of their Karagor, or a Captain off their Karagor, that character underneath them will then be dominated. This is incredibly satisfying if you're up against uh, an enemy who has a pack oh, yeah. of Karagors. Yes. I mean, if we see a pack going around, I think I... Uh, oh, there is actually just in front of you to your right. But don't knock them off yet. We want to test it real quick to see what happens when we get up close. Hey, guys. Oh, all right, let's see. Man. Oh, they started the fight. We got to knock oh. them off first. Okay. Oh, Karagor, Karagor battle. Oh, oh, bad kitty. Oh, that's <laughs> bad kitty. All right, so let's see. I think we're going to have to use some ground bait and go to the corner. Oh, there we go. He has the domination. Cool. So that armored Karagor is now yeah, He's joined to our side. So I'm seeing questions about spiders coming up. We'll get to spiders. I swear it. We'll get to spiders. <gasps> oh, no. no. It's OK. It's all right. We're moving on to different beasties, and also here's another Karagor! Yay! Let's see help you. All right, so let's go ahead and head to the fortress Hang because on, I just want to see my other Karagors. For a you just want to see them because they're just sleeping, hanging out. You know, people always say, "Is there something you wished you added that's not in the game?" I really wish I could pet them. Aww. Really cool. Anyway. Free DLC, man. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Like uh, there will be some pet appreciation day or something. Mm -hmm. That could be a fun time to coordinate. Where are we going next? Up to the uh, We're now going to go after so a Graug, but because we have mm -hmm. a cooldown, which whenever you summon a beast, they you get where all these people going at it. Beasts. Their beasts won't stop us from taking their forces. Okay, so not, so not, not the Drake, not right? the Drake yet, not yet. Okay, but um, once uh, you have summoned a Karagor or any other beast alongside, there's a cooldown after they get killed or after you send them away. So just as a reminder that you have to strategize a little bit when you use them. Can't pet them, all these upset. Let's see. Um, Radically Free has an interesting question. Do armored Karagors have any extra armor, or is it cosmetic? Uh, there is some extra armor. Oh, cool. Yeah. Good question. So, go ahead and look oh, around. There we go. There's a big cage down there. Oh, perfect. There's the there's our Graug. Uh, all right. Oh, I love Graugs. These, so, Graugs, I think, might be my personal favorite. Uh, and uh, we're going to about to get another one right now. Let so, this guy out. in general, what is a Graug? So, Graugs in this kind of massive lost world of Mordor are these enormous, gigantic omnivores. They will just eat anything, clean up anything. Uh -huh. So, um, if the Karagors are kind of the Velociraptors of Mordor, these guys <laughs> are the T Rexes. What an apt analogy. I love it. Oh, oh rock time. Oh, look out. <laughs> he hit the cage. Oh man. So a grog is another creature that you can uh, summon using our summon ability. We'll uh, we'll put that on our character in a moment because we also want to be able to summon one to show okay. off what you can do with ah. commands. Oh hello! Oh, oh. Slow. <laughs> okay, I got this. It's Let's see. Good. John Blakey, we actually answered that question. Did Beastmasters have oh, any kind of Oh he's climbing after me! Oh my god. Why did we ever add that? <laughs> so, uh, well, 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 once you get okay. him, we it's can good. show off it's some good. of his climbing. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so just to repeat to you, John Blake, we answered that question. Go ahead and, like, but it's for a reminder for everyone, oh, okay. there are okay. Beastmasters do have counters to a lot of the other creatures in Mordor. Specific from killing them to the uh, Beastmasters also don't get attacked by wild grabs and the, or wild characters and that kind of thing. Oh, man. 
Alright, so Grav's able to squish things by hitting X. This is awesome back. Press B to sweep your hand to knock guys back. Actually, there's a good knockback. Amazingly useful to use against various captains. You can eat people and that will get your health back. You eat them when your might bar is filled up all the way. And then you'll do an execution move and that will grab a guy, feed him. Uh, you can do that to Karagoras as well. Let's see, can orcs ride all high and can they ride it? <laughs> no Grog riding. They can summon Grogs. You will see that ability. Uh, also, Ologs don't have mounts. Now here's an interesting one from Bow Wow. Oh, I play game, right? Ooh. Yeah, you can collect that from the top of the Grog too. Nice, another new feature. Uh -huh. So, can you have an armored dire character? Oh, that is a good question. Um, I think the answer is no. I think they are generally untamable by anyone except you. Is that no, true? No, I is that no? no I've seen You're it. right. Our That's overlord. true. Actually, the overlord in here. So yeah, there we go. our overlord has a yep, dark right now. He does indeed. Uh -huh. Oh, that jump was amazing. Go find another high tower. I love the King Kong aspect of crowds when they're climbing. Let's see. From Dead of, we'll talk about ghouls later. Not yet. We have them on our list. Let's see, will branded mounts wander the region Ooh. if they're still alive or just disappear? DJ Silix. So, well, it, that's an interesting question because the, uh, Mike, how far in general, where do the dominated creatures go? Because I've run into other ones later on like we did earlier yep. when we found our sleeping uh, dominated characters. They, yeah, they will continue to exist and run around in the environment. Right. Um, if you, you know, fast travel or uh -huh. leave the zone or advance time or any of those things, they're going to uh, despawn. But in general, they're going to hang around and keep creating more chaos. Awesome. It's always fun for the drakes as well. <laughs> right. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and check out another couple abilities of in the mounted skill tree for the ground. What a jump. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can also... You are trapped here like me and everyone else. This is the Iron Prison of Mordor, a pit of darkness and evil. Our only escape is glorious death. So right. All right. Before you start crushing that guy, if you end up deciding to do so, oh, you're gonna. Oh, yeah. Merciful. Merciful. I like it. So go ahead and uh, go back to the character screen real quick. Uh, I want to go ahead and show off some Grog stuff, but also let's summon a Grog so that we can show mm. the process of. Having going from stealth and commanding a Grog. So first of all, in the abilities, we have Devouring Force, which increases the amount of health that a Grog will get during executions. Sorry, yep. And then we also have the second one, which is Enduring Fury, which is where you increase how much might you get per normal attack. So strategically, these kind of both go at the same idea of increasing how much health your Grog will get, but it's up to you to decide how you like to do that. And we, of course, saw the um, might attack Right. With the normal Grog, which enables you to eat guys. Mm -hmm. But once you've got the elemental Grogs as yeah. well, you can wreak even more chaos with their poison and fire oh, and yeah. snowballs. And if we see one of those today, then we'll go up and we'll hang out with it. But we're not going to necessarily go hunting it. Um, let's see. Did the Horn Grogs replace the normal leathery Grogs from Shadow of Mordor? Well, uh, we kind of actually sort of talked about that a second ago with the elemental Grogs. Yep. Uh, let's see. Hit Freak. If you brand a beast that is broken, will its health become full again? Yes. Yes. Let's uh, go ahead and chip off this guy and summon another Grog. So you can have a, a little army of Grogs, or I guess a big army of Grogs, with their size in mind. So now we have two Grogs running around. Alright, yeah, let's go sneak up on this guy and look at him when you can, so we can get that highlight going. Oh, I think he's... we're out of uh, sneak in there. Right? Yeah. So go ahead and jump on... I think the one on the left is ours. I yeah, I think that's the one. We'll leave this guy here, okay. making some havoc for us. Right, and we'll find a spot where we can nice sneak our ground in. Nice, spot. Let's see, there was a question which is, uh, does Grog eat still insta kill captains from Zerakal? No, there isn't. That doesn't happen like that. Does Shadow Mount still instantly dominate? We'll talk about that, Werebear21. Ooh, let's do this. Oh, let's do the stealth thing now. It's to your left, so you can get a little bit more of a wide berth on them. There you go. That kill. Well, give him a time. He's, he chooses the uh, the rock throw method. So when you're not riding the Grog, 
he's going to fight a little differently than when you're fighting him. Uh, specifically, as we just saw, he, he will chuck rocks at people. Go ahead and climb up a bit so we can... Uh, oh, yeah, that'll give us a nice advantage. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy to your left that I think we can target. That guy, yeah. If you look <laughs> oh, he's out of here. Yeah. Oh, bad idea. Seriously, understandable. Uh, does the instant kill still count if the captain is weak to Grouse, Dingbat91? Uh, yeah. It's if the person is mortally wounded by Grouse, then yeah, that would be a final uh, instant kill. Alright. They seem to all be just running away right now. It's probably pretty simple. Oh, there you go. There you go. There we go. Do the left trigger oh, to make or the left click to make a kill. There you go. So when you he gets highlighted red when yep. he's looking at him. Let's see. They can't see me because I've got my stealth kill prompt. Where is he? Right. Oh, he's over there. Oh, he's busy. That's why. He's busy. He's eating his own dudes right yeah. now. Getting his health back. Help him out. I like it. Uh, Sly Tiger 007. Are there armor sets that increase mounted combat and or health? Oh yeah. There is. There are absolutely things related to that. Yeah, that's one of the fun things. I really like the armor sets that we have around the different tribes yeah so the feral armor set of course when you get the legendary set mm -hmm. is fantastic right, for enhancing your abilities with beasts right. oh perfect so he's just taking them out give him a chance to look around so now we yeah. shot him out to back to the guy which i really want to show the stealth i Ooh, do so blew that Let's see. find a nice quiet place Sneak up here. No one will notice anything. Remember, you gotta jump off the guy now. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just getting to. I'm getting to a spot. Quieter. Sorry. Dingbat91, there is no petting of the creatures in Morkador. So, for any questions that people were asking about what this build is, so this is our um, build, our demo build from a couple months ago, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the game looks different and plays a little differently than what this looks like right now, but this is more or less the game. Oh. Herod Gelding, how many captains have I seen? Oh man, over hundreds probably by now. Probably 112, something <laughs> like that. No, I mean, basically, if you went through one game, right. through five regions, you're gonna see more than 100. No, I personally have restarted a couple times, and but only have like really got through some of the earlier beginnings of stuff. So I'm thinking, oh, you can now target that guy with the, uh, use the kill commands. Boom, there it is. Nice. So, but I, he throws the rock whenever you do the kill command in my experience. It's just such great fun. Well, they always work. I really like that when you can summon the captains as well. So the bodyguard, the fact that you're in stealth can order them to shoot and oh, target yeah. your enemies. You know what we should try at some point today that I, I haven't actually mm -hmm. directly tried is doing this, is giving the stealth commands with, uh, with a drake. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're totally try that today. Um, let's see. Actually, the Drake is our next thing to do. I Hang think. On. Let me make sure I, we've covered everything for crowds. Okay, I've got it. Finally, here we go. Get oh. in. Go. Yeah. So see how he, that that one Uruk was highlighted red. Get in. All right, he's going. Good boy. Good boy. Rock throw, right into the wall. But oh. <laughs> so you can provide um, the the instruction for a Grog to attack mm -hmm. using, and then so they will attack from afar, which is super fantastic. Here there it goes. goes, there's the yeah. throw. Oh, oh, oh he boy. missed. <laughs> Try again. Oh, uh, yeah, keep trying, keep trying, friend. Yeah. <laughs> that did it. It's my favorite stealth kill. That is the best stealth kill. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see, let me check to make sure we covered everything for Grogs. Uh, besides, so we talked about the elemental. We showed you guys what they fight like on as their own when you're riding them. Um, you can pull out your bow when you're riding on top of the grub. Uh, Mike is picking up a gem real quick. Throwing boulders. Yeah, it looks like we covered it. So let's go ahead and dismiss uh, this grub now, though. All right. Bye. Cool. See you, friend. And let's head to the uh, outpost to see if we can grab ourselves a drink. Oh, cool. So we should also... Oh, I... Uh, I'll leave that for everybody about a Grog, a particular way a Grogs like to run. It's very cool. Hey, these aren't drakes. No, I'm just on my way there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, as a reminder for all you guys, remember that uh, we're focusing on the mounted skills and the beasts right now. So your questions related to multiplayer or other things, focusing on the beasts for the moment. 
If uh, you go actually straight into your left, there's a um, Feral Drake bay towards the front of that uh, outpost we were in. Uh, back this way? Uh-huh. To your immediate left now. There you go. Uh, and this is when the feral tribes in charge of the region. We're going to have more opportunities like this, more Drake bait. Right. Let's see. They're probably going to regret. <laughs> I know it seriously. From Tip Zeu, uh, which is what's the resolution? We're on 720p right now because you guys are watching on Twitch, so you guys have a very different resolution. That is not a Drake. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying it every time. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, now I'm out of ammo. All right. There's a, there should be some, yeah, it's your bottom right on the map, I see it. So right past the Drake or something. Are Graugs and Ologs related? That's an interesting question. I think there was probably a little bit of Graug DNA that Sauron got and put in the vats when he was uh, breeding and upgrading the Ologs. So, yeah, the, I think the same way the fell beasts are bred and he's got these means of um, developing these monstrous creatures, so I think there's a little bit of mixing and matching going on. Alright, this is an interesting question, which was, can Beastmasters summon Drakes? Drake Summoner. I haven't I seen know. one, so I don't believe, I, I mean, there are ways that the orcs use the Drakes, but I haven't seen a Drake Summoner. Okay. So, is my mission here to uh, ride this guy? Your mission is to ride this guy. So, first we have to break him, and this is also... A great introduction, a little bit to the values of Shadow Mount, which is the ability to uh, dominate from afar a uh, Drake that's flying in the sky. Because otherwise, you'd have to wait for this guy to get on the ground. Okay, just need my focus to recharge. All right, mighty. Oh, broken. Oh, ready to go. Oh, yeah. Can go ahead and. Uh, oh, careful not yeah, to run into yeah. things. You can go ahead, turn around, and go towards the fortress. Is now much actually, smaller. sharp right turn. So Drakes can fly. One of the coolest features, one of the newest features of Shadow War. Tap A, and you will flap your wings. Timing your taps, you can speed up how you go. Oh, this is perfect. They give you a fantastic view of everything. Go ahead and uh, start flying straight up too. So we have a chance to show off some of this aerial prowess that we got on the Drake. I love this Baradur under construction over there. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice view of the bridge. Right. Cool. Cool. Let's light some guys on fire. Always a good idea. <laughs> Alright, so Drake's off of the ability to breathe fire. You can fly over and you can aim using... There you go. Careful not to run into things. Left trigger will allow you to, or uh, whatever the other controls will be, but they have the hover ability for you to then be more precise when you're aiming fire. And uh, Mike, could you show another really fun thing that Drake's like to do to get help at? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. I was just gonna cook some of this bait. <laughs> First cook the bait to get the ground. What's the more creature chaos going here? Oh yeah. So Drake's can also activate bait for uh, grog barrels, grog stacks, Open up cages. Oh, make, fireball. make more drakes. When you have a fully filled might meter, which is that orange meter that is currently a, currently empty because we just fought, shot a fireball, but you're able to shoot off a fireball and it will cause an explosion when you're aiming as the hovering drake. Okay. Yeah. Bradley Heath says Game of Thrones spoilers. Wait. Let's see. Where Bear Twenty One wants to know if can you armor a Drake? Oh, uh, they imprison them sometimes in cages. Right. But There's... not armor. I don't think. I don't know if they could take the weight. That's a good point. Yeah. Let's see. Does the Drake have a name since Antar? It's a, it's a Drake. Or are you asking? Have we named our Drake? We should aim him right, uh, name him right now. Okay, All right. I like Flappy. Oh, what? Did you see that? He's gonna eat that guy in the he other shot him out of your claws. Shot him out of my claws. <laughs> That's just rude. Oh man. Uh, elite fan one two three. Yeah, Drakes can gain health by eating guys. We actually just have if one. another Drake doesn't shoot yeah. it out of your mouth. That's just soldiers. Bo wants to know how Drake on Drake combat looks, which uh, we'll show him yeah. some more. As soon as I can get some health back. Get it. There you go. Eat him. Nice. 
Alright, I still need a little bit more health before I take on that other one. I love this question. Um, which is like, can you use a drake to transport captains with carry ability? Kinda! Uh, you, yeah, sort I mean, of. Yeah, it's not it's fast. dangerous. It's, yeah. So it's not very quick. Let's see, Aragorn Battlebone. <laughs> can I have 10 drakes defending a fort? You know, you I don't know what the maximum number is, but if if you've got summon and you bring them as part of your assault team, right? And there's and it's a feral fortress, so you're unleashing them during the course of that. And you also have the uh, upgrade that puts the drakes in the cages, on top of that, and then you dominate all the drakes. You could have a lot. I don't know if, yeah. like what that number is, but you can certainly have a ton. Oh, let's see. Don't a hermit? Can you travel through regions with a drake? No. That's uh, you can travel within the region. The challenge of the air-to-air -air combat with the Drake is that, of course, they're resistant to fire. Right. So it's not sort of the, the optimum way to take on the Drake often isn't another Drake. Right, right. But the um, jumping off in the mid-air combat can be pretty effective. Oh, yeah. See so if you can get him. All right, you have... Oh, not my own Drake. Oh, no. Oh, all right. I got it. Uh, let's see. So the bouncing ball has a question related. Are there different Drake types? Um, there is the one other type, which is the Karnan Drake, which is, she's obviously this powerful spirit of nature and she has the ability to take different forms, including um, the Drake form. You can jump uh, in a Drake. Uh, or do you want to jump? Yeah, I want to jump from <laughs> Drake to Drake. Okay. Come here. So uh, we're going to do some elite skills happening right now. No, no, this one's... You have zero focus, so you can't do it yet. Uh, I know. Here we go. Wait for it. Drake to Drake Where's jump. He He's just above you. Ah. And dominated. <laughs> nice. Two friendly drakes. Two friendly drakes now. So now we got two. Uh, let's see. Uh, Uruk's Hollow. We'll talk about ghouls later. Uh, but right now, we just uh, drake time. I Monolithic Truth with the MLG MVP is MVP. Nice. Alright, oh, so what we got next? go ahead and let's summon a drake and let's try that stealthness with the drake. And we talked about ah. doing the commands to see if we can get him to work. So, now flying a drake is something that you can unlock as soon as you have an, you've leveled up and gotten the points to it. Summoning a drake is actually a story. I saw that that was a question online in the forums, which thank you guys for asking those questions. And uh, I took a bunch of them and I applied them to what we were talking about today. But a couple of them we'll answer at the end as well. Uh, will friendly drakes still have friendly fire from uh, Daigato? Mike, I believe the answer is yes, correct? Yes, yeah, so by friendly fire, I mean unfriendly fire. Okay, so can the fire from your friendly drakes damage your other followers? So, yes. Yeah. Let's uh, run away from this area so we don't get confused yes, on which yeah. drakes which for a second. Because we have so many drakes flying around. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's see, can a captain okay. with a mount skill or training can lose the mount permanently if that mount dies? Uh, Zion Metron, no. No, he will, he will get another one. Correct. Uh, Cortez178 has a question for you. Do you have a secret about growing a mighty beard? Uh, if I did, I wouldn't have this straggly beard. <laughs> He seems to have a yeah. different opinion. There are a lot of a lot of far finer beards mm -hmm. in Monolith. This is a, a petty beard. Let's go ahead and uh, right, give go. him a summon. Summon. Right. And give him a kill now. Alright, so you have summon. He's flying underneath He's you right now. Come on. Good. There you go, there you go. Alright, so that guy's hey, red. Is going red. Yep. He's targeted. Uh, What's our Drake gonna do? Can you press so you didn't press the left thing then, huh? I did, I gave him the command. Oh he's landed oh, to do the fight, yeah. So Drake's can fight on the ground as well. They, uh, they're a little bit more uh, accessible for everyone else when that's the case. Zerakal, Dra can la Drake's land? Uh, scroll back three seconds. Ender Eagle's quoting from Shadow Mordor about Stompy. Love it. I miss Stompy. Stomp uh, Stompy's back for everyone who wants to name their guy Stompy. Oh, there we go. Nice Drake. Nice Drake. So, can we... Let's try again if we can get a, a target. Yeah, that guy's on fire. I'm concealed. I think it's once they're... Once they're engaged in combat like this... In, they um, don't really follow the commands mm -hmm. anymore. I understand. 
we could do is we could ride him out of here. Oh, no, this is a question from Daigato, uh, which, uh, thank you for reminding me. I actually had it for the end of the stream, but we'll talk about it now. Which is, can you summon every creature into the throne room during an Overlord fight? Um, all, no, except the drakes. Can't do the drakes. Yeah, they can't fly in, but both um, Growl, Karagors, and Spiders, you can. Spiders, you can. Which, um... One of the uh, the things related to it as well is there's going to be another set of creatures that we're going to bring out that can't be thrown shown in the Overlord thing yet, but that's because we need the fire pits to do so. Oh, I got both of my drakes. Demetrius Black. I'm sorry, I see you say answer your question for once, but now I just see you asking and telling me to do that. Sorry, man. I'm going to scroll up to see if I can catch your question real quick. Uh, fortunately, I don't see it. All right, go ahead and try asking again. We'll see what we can do. Uh, Hammerhead45, is there any other beast that will be added in the future? Interesting question. No comment? Oh! Yes! Oh! There, yes! <laughs> cool! Yeah. In, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully. That's the plan. Huh. Let's we'll see. see. Here we go. I uh, see people requesting about demos. There is no plans for demos that I'm aware of. At least, no betas. I don't think we have any downloadable demo. The demo. closest we've got is Shadow of Mordor. So Shadow of Mordor, hey! Pretty good demo for this one. Yeah. Oh, there's just chaos everywhere. Alright, so we've tried to see if the drakes can target, and it looks ah! like... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! That was madness. He targeted him while he was still an enemy, and I rode him. That was craziness. Well, I have not seen that before. I have not seen okay, that before either. Achievement unlocked. Have, Get picked up mount, by mount your own drake while you are on a Karagor. Mount a Karagor that's picked yeah. up by a drake. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Glorious. Oh, man. Um, here's <laughs> a one from Rocco Grazier. Uh, can Wait. Uryx ride drakes? No. No. I Nazgul think... can. Oh, there you go. I think my favorite line from that, you once answered that question, you said that would be chaos. Well, the thing is, you gotta love chaos. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, drakes are uh, harder to tame than cats. Right. Let's see. Which is, I think, why by the time of Lord of the Rings they've gone back to fell beasts, the drakes were just too crazy. Alright. Let's see, Dark Hatchet, uh, we've actually chatted about So the question was, are there any beasts from Lord of the Hunt in Shadow of War? Which I think the elemental grab that's poison is the one that is, right? Yes, so we have the wretched grog there, and now we have the elemental grog. Right. And there is also the fact of all the abilities that the Karagaths did have in Lord of the Hunt uh -huh. now apply to all of our Karagors. Right, right. So. And uh, for our next beastie thing, we actually need to uh, get some more elf shot and some fire pits. So elf shot's just to your left, actually. Or to my right. Or to your right. Or it's in front of me. Or it's all over the place. Or, in, or behind me. It's available in all places where elf shot is normally carried. Yeah. So, okay. now we need to find a fire pit. So, oh, there's one. Perfect. What's, uh, oh, what yes. ability do, do we have attached right now? I like this one. Let's see. So, oh, we have Matron Scent currently attached. Shall we show that one first? Oh, nice. Yes. Detonating okay. a fire pit will cause ghouls to swarm the area. So, let's, so let's do that. Now, this is the one... having two drakes and caragors is not enough craziness. Nope. We need to throw some ghouls in now. So if you guys remember shooting fire pits from Shadow of Mordor, now there's some new features to that ability where you can add in this extra thing by attacking uh, the fire pit. You summon ghouls to help you fight. They will burrow up out of the earth around the pit. Fortunately on fire. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> that was not the fault of the pit. But let's uh, let's go for this other one. Uh no comment on your question. Can you not use weapons while riding drinks? Um, Lord Potato. So you... The you, I think the answer is no, because you're using their drakes. The fire. drake, yes. Yeah. So it's the same, actually. The Hello, a normal growl, like this guy. If I mount him, then I can use my bow uh, on his back. However, if I'm using the elemental growl, oh, oh, nice. Um, Are, aren't you going to kill him though if you do this? Nope. I'm not. Gonna, I'm just gonna, you're just going to whack him. Alright, yeah. he's ready to be dominated. So Ooh. these guys, normal growl, you can in fact use your bow when right. you mount it on him. But once you get the more powerful elemental grouts or the drakes, their ranged weapon is their breath or... Um, right. 
Herodingly. God, I can't ever say your name correctly. Or Herodine Jeldy. Uh, can a captain have a pack of characters with him? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, there's a pack master skill. Pack master skill? Oh, he's, dro he's gonna drop a dude. Ah! <laughs> That's another one, you just have to make the noise. When you see that, you just have to go. You gotta, you gotta growl when you're attacking someone. Yep. You gotta scream when, like, a drake drops a dude. Let's see. Um, so here is a question. Can you brand rules or dominate rules? No. They are horrible and disgusting creatures that no one would want to have on their side. So you can, you can use the matron sense, but that is the way to do yep. it. Yeah, that's just kind of creating a disturbance under the earth that's mm -hmm. gonna make them burrow up. So, I think uh, we should, I guess we could send away the uh, Drake, but we want to, right now, get into a place where we can just summon some spiders. Mm -hmm. Silently and happily, without having a lot of fighting going on. Okay, alright, so we'll get rid of Drake. Uh, Drake. And let's, should we dismount to kill this guy? I know, it's hard. We don't have to. Sorry. So, one of the things you guys can do is that you can um, dismount by holding down the right bumper in the Xbox controller that we're using, and you'll kill a guy on the way down. We're doing that just so that we can uh, calm down the environment a little bit. I actually have another Drake here. <laughs> you have kill so many Drakes. That's because I dominated this one, so we'll um, kill him as well. Kill him as well. Good night, friends. Let's see, so, um, let's see. So now, Gonna summon some spiders? Yeah, let's um, let's get a little. Oh, that'll work. Okay, so go into stealth. Oh, uh, wait. So when you go into stealth, uh, after you summon a spider, you can uh, then command each spider to oh, go wow. after a target. And as we did with that treasure orc just then, yeah. we got this lovely gem. So there's a couple orcs to your left. Go ahead and target one of them, and then send them a kill. And then there goes off one spider. It will climb down. It will go do its thing. Jump on oh, the guy. Nice. We'll target another one. Oh, they might have seen you now. No, nope, I've still got my kill. Oh, and then this guy's gonna be attacked by your spider bodyguard. Get him. Thanks, spider bro. Come on, spider. <laughs> so, and then the spiders wait. And each spider is gonna go find a target and go off to kill it. Or you can send each one. Oh, that guy. Send off a little spider, it'll go jump off, do his little adventure. And you. Skitter, skitter, skitter. That one will get killed too. Oh, this is fantastic. Up oh, there goes a oh. the spider, and then the other guy is about to get killed by the other spider in so just a much second. Spidery dick. Oh, spider, it's taking it. Oh, it's on the roof still. Oh, he chose not to do it. So we still have two spiders. Let's see. Um, uh, you can't have a dire Karagor undominate your Karagor. Your Karagors are yours, and your, right. the ring is more powerful. Here they go. Let's see, from Toadzilla. Whoa. Oh, hello. Uh, Toadzilla was saying, can a Grog be hurt by... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> running from the spider. <laughs> Maybe him too, they might be... Oh, that guy chased him. Oh yeah, he's just out. Yeah. But uh, the question was, like, can Grogs be attached and hurt by the elemental stuff in the world? And the answer is yes, but mm -hmm. I haven't added to that question. They are immune to their own element. Cool. So a fire ground is going to be immune to fire. Right. All right. Spiders are awesome. Yeah. Just the amount. When you start putting these things together, so you're summoning Karagors, Grogs, Drakes, Just Spiders, Ghouls. The fact that you can do all of those things simultaneously. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just crazy. So now let's take an opportunity. So we've shown you guys Call Mount, and uh, let's go jump into the character screen real quick because I want to show off. Um, uh, Shadow Mount, and I want to show off the Drake's abilities a little bit, and then I also wanted to show off the uh, Car the Packmaster ability, and then we'll have a vote for you guys in just a second because we want you guys to choose basically who we should uh, be sending off on an adventure, or excuse me, who we should be writing. There you go, Packmaster. Pack that was my bad. My favorite. I was showing so you great. guys. I was showing you guys up my face. My bad, guys. There we go. All right, so as a reminder, show the screen. So metal, we just wanted to show us for a little while. Uh, yes, the mic is still floating. Uh, and then actually, right before we go into doing this, uh, let's do the Drake and um, show them the, the scales and then sh also show oh, yes. the, because uh, the Drakes have a bestial rage style ability too, which is where you can use health to shoot off those extra fireballs. 
like that we were showing when you have a full mic. Um, <laughs> so I gotta bring something up to all y'all. I'm assuming you guys also voted voted for spiders because invalid vote on our thing is 47.1% and we had four options. So I, perhaps spiders wasn't put in as clearly, but I'm assuming you guys meant spider mm. when that happened. Crowd 1997, bow back to you. Gotcha, man. So, uh, but the, currently the vote is Dire Karagor is the top, then Drake, then Grog, but invalid vote is actually huge. So, I think it's probably Spider. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that how democracy works? That's that's how well that's how it has worked before. Yeah. Let's see. Let me let me do it a revote again and we'll pick a guy out, okay? Spider, Grog, Drake, Dire. Cool. And then I, I've switched us back and forth a couple times. I'll bring us back to our correct screen. We're on the correct screen, perfect. Look at you, riding around so tall. Let's see about cutting you down to size. Well, so he's actually turned up on his Caragor oh, because yeah. he's recognized that we're riding a Caragor. And I bet anything, he's a slayer. Let's find out. Ooh, no weaknesses. Caragor pack, Caragor rider, and slayer, and beast slayer. Oh, there you go. What's his uh, other abilities? Beastmaster, beast bestial roar, so he can call. More. Wow, this guy. This guy is, is tough. all about the Caragors. Oh yeah. So Rage what it looks like? Yeah, spider, fifty-one percent. Oh, okay. I know you guys. So. I have a question for this. Since this guy showed up, uh, I wanted to send one spider on at a time, but I guess we could just summon a bunch of spiders and have them all tackle him. As well, and plus, if he brings his Caragor pack mm -hmm. in, it's going to be so fun to use that pack master oh, to yeah. just sail into the middle of that. Right, right. So let's, let's just do it all. Cool. Let's uh, let's summon a bunch of spiders to attack us. Oh no, they're on cooldown. Cool down. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, well, uh, alright, so they're on cooldown. What's, what's our time right now? We have about... Uh, 16 minutes or so, so we can, uh, luckily that'll be enough time for us to do cooldown. We can do that again, this guy out as well. Just gotta be careful because he's got that. People uh, like this spider tackle. I love it. Uh, also, I saw the real masculine talk about Kara Corgi. Hell yeah, man. Always and forever. So, we're gonna do spider. And that's so 51.5% is one in spider, so I'm gonna close the vote. Oh, so there we get to see the Beastmaster, so he Ooh. just... Took our health down to almost nothing in one attack. Jeez. Ooh, there oh, it goes. There we go. So that answers that early question on can oh, oh was... some orcs take down your mount? Yeah. Um, so that is a beast slayer in action. Mm -hmm. I got a question for you, Mike. Yes. Are there certain creatures that are in only specific creatures? Um, drakes are confined to Mordor, so. In the earlier game, we don't we don't meet them, you know, right at the beginning of the game because that would be excessively challenging potentially. But other than that, pretty much uh, no, everyone is. Are oh, you going to dominate this? Oh, guy? sorry, that's not true. Actually, the elemental growls right. are, are native to different regions. So the fire right. growl is native to Gorgoroth, right. and the uh, poison growl is native to Nern and so okay. on. Let's see. Shame. Shame. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, select a guy that we can go for. And because I believe by then our Karagor will be, uh, or excuse me, not Karagor, our spiders will be ready to be summoned. Yep. Because I see it ticking down. So let's go see if we can find someone with. Um, oh, weakness to poison? Weakness to poison would be fun. Uh, maybe a guy with a Karagor pack. Similar to the guy who just hunted us but didn't take his Karagor. You didn't get a chance, yeah. Yeah. Let's see, more guy flies. Terrified which is another. That is the one creature we have not. Uh, I felt we that Shadow of Mordor had a lot of flies, so I was like, ah, they're flies. They work similarly. So let's see if he has a pack. He's damaged by poison. That could work. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Gang of Savages, Karagor Rider. Mm. He's a poison weapon. So I mean, we can take the Karagor, but uh, pop over, rage by everything. Let's try another guy. I think during this time while we're selecting someone to use, I'm going to take this opportunity to answer a couple questions from the forums. Uh, there are requests that people had related to uh, certain things that I wanted to try to put into the live stream, which answered a couple of them. 
But for some of them that didn't all apply, I'm gonna grab a couple of the forum questions real quick. Let's see. We've answered that one, we've answered that one. Going through. Let's see. Oh, this is an interesting one from Jared Spell 117 which is, uh, this guy is amazing for yeah. small. This guy? This, God. He, <laughs> this would be a lot of fire going on here. Yeah. Flame weapons, bombs, more bombs. So. Mines and fire. I think what's pretty crazy too is the fact that like even if he wasn't a legendary orc, he'd had flame weapon, warriors, fire bombs, fire mines, and a flamethrower. Like yeah, wow. He's named the blast. He is well Rightf named. Rightfully named. Yep. Oh goodness, and he's got sappers, Dude, destroyers, yeah. and he explodes in fire when he dies. Destroyers are, I think, my favorite class. But this isn't what we're talking about. Sorry. We're looking for dudes to target. Um, I think uh, we, let's just choose a guy with a uh, Karagor at this point because we're we're okay. running down on all right, time. All right. This is cool. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go after Booth the Regal. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna summon spiders and send each one of them off. Uh, one at a time. <laughs> There's people asking us to go after the blast. That's gonna be hard. Oh, he's, yeah, he's a bit of a far one up top. That's right. Fast travel. Cool. To the Hydea. Alright. Let's see. Um, so the question was, can a, a Mount Dismember Dismember. Dismember in Uruk. Um, that's interesting. I guess technically, when well, you can dismember them because you can use your glaive while you're mounted. Uh -huh. So that certainly has dismembering attacks. Right. Um, and the Growl can bite them in half. So that's certainly a version of having your member right, dist. Right. We've got a lot of people requesting where the blast to fight the blast guy. Can we see where he is real quick? Sure. Just to, like... I mean, there's just enough request that I'm looking. I'm like, ah, maybe we should go for the blast. It's the guy in the bottom, yeah, there. Oh wow, he's um, he's actually guarding an outpost as well. I All like right. these missions. These are fun missions. This guy would just be tough. All right, let's see what happens. You want to do it? Okay. He's not immune to fire. We could bring a drake in. We could. We have to use the spiders, but right. that doesn't mean we can't use the drake. Yeah, I'm up like. for that. All right, let's go get him. Let's go go for him. Let's see. Question. Which I thought was cute, which is, can spiders be mounts? Yeah, <laughs> very, very briefly, but <laughs> as soon as you mount them, uh, they splatter. Yeah, you actually can squish them. To be a mount. Yes. Let's see. Um, <laughs> this one I thought was cute. Would you rather have one Karagor sized drake, so a teeny drake, or would you rather have ten drake sized Karagors? So, ten drake sized Karagors. That oh, yeah. could fly. Yes. And breathe fire. Amazing fun. Let's see. Um, Oh, this was one. Can you have a follower on a Karagor with a pack? Oh, these are unfriendly spiders. Oh, so no. they can be a hazard as well. The ones that you don't summon right. um, can be risky. Also, as a heads up, we're, we're getting to like the five to ten minutes before it's done. Oh, I got this. Yeah, yeah, I believe in you, Mike. All right, I'm going to be quiet. Just uh, get over here. We had a question. This is, can orcs tame spiders? There is of the spiders. Yep, there is indeed. Yeah, so a guy can have spiders. Um... Which is, and then the question was just, can you have a follower with a Karagor, with a pack, who can summon a Growl? I believe the answer is, you can, is it, you either have a Karagor or a Growl, or, or is actually you can have all three? No, no, uh, all three? Sorry, what was the third? So, pack master, right. with having a Karagor, Karagor that you're mounted on, and then you have Growl to call. That's just such a huge combo of... Mm. I don't know if that's excluded, I'd have to check. I mean, yeah. Generally, we allow most, certainly allow most combinations of things. Right, right. All right. 6,464. 6, Dude, she's a level 40. I've got to get him out first. No. The hunt shall end. I can take out his... Um, using the spiders! Hunters. Yep. So okay. Something. Uh, go ahead and uh, find some spot where we can use the spiders as our, uh, hunt, our tools for hunting the hunters. Ooh. All right, so from Celery Profit, do poison upgrades work? I think you have to be in an area where the spiders can crawl out of. Yeah, it's not doing the summon. So try jumping on somewhere up high. Somewhere bushy. Somewhere bushy, yeah, that works. So which was the question was, um, all right, so we got him, so we can send one. Oh, that's awesome. There's another guy over there we yep. can target. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, uh, shoot, what was the question? Let me find it. Um, so if we have poison upgrades, do the spiders get the benefit of those poison upgrades? If we ha Are they usually applied to our weapons? But right. um, 
Some of the beast upgrades could apply to them. So there are upgrades where you can increase the beast power. Um, the bouncing ball has a fun question, which is, what is your favorite beast? And uh, now it's these spiders. These spiders are your favorite right now? I, uh, I think Stompy is my favorite. I really like Graugs. I just think they're great fun. So this guy you're going to kill before the spider gets to? Or are you going to let the spider do the killing? Oh. There, the spider just took out another one. You can see in the top left where the number just keeps clicking up every time a spider bites a guy. <laughs> so yeah, Mike is a spider pro right now, and then I have a love of Stompy in the grounds. Can an orc summon ghouls? Mike? Yes. Ghoul lover. Of this, yeah, ghoul lover is awesome. He actually... Uh, one of his friends made an initial appearance in Lord of the Hunt as well, and he was just a great character, so... Wanted him back. But we wanted the really, you know, the systemic version of him that could exist in the sandbox and in the nemesis system. You tell it, which is, uh, will the ghouls you summon be friendly? If you do them from the matron set? No. Yeah. No? Oh, goodness, I got that one wrong. No. I'm glad you're here, Mike. Ooh. Oh, ah, oh, should have got my, um, option of this. Brutalize. Go for the brutalize. You got two more that you can do. Yeah, sure. I've only I, got two more to kill. But anyway, right. I'll stay on target. Stay on target. I'll tell you what I will do is use this fire pit. Do you want to summon spiders or matron? Or matron scent? Oh, yes, yeah, more spiders. Good point. All right. All right, so here. there's also spider song, which is an ability that is similar to matron scent. Use Except spiders. Except with spiders. Yeah. Toadzilla for more shame, spiders, Jared. More, more spiders. I just haven't been attacked by my own uh, ghouls. Okay, I'm gonna be very silent now. Not humiliate myself in the presence of this. So, we can summon a Drake, but don't do it yet because we don't have it selected. You just you shot the ground bait, then you shot the spider bait. Yep, every, I'm bringing all, all the creatures. All the every creatures. Thing. We're going for everything. That's, uh, when you have a chance, go ahead and uh, switch the summon to uh, a drake if you want to do a drake, or to whoever you want to. Yes. More, more grab. Throw the flies in. Why not? Oh, and there's um. Is the spot more spiders? I blast holes through you. Blast holes through world of men and fill them with orc machinery. Wow. Your machine is no man. <laughs> so we had a question from Werebear21, which is, can an orc directly attack you when you are on a mount and damage you when, like, can they damage you directly instead of... Uh, no, the mount always acts like as a shield to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you summoned the, the Dark I did, um, yes. Actually, the Drake Bait's back, so you can straight up just summon another one that way if you want. Oh yeah, good point. Whoa! Oh no! Who knocked me off? Uh, probably the blast. Oh. Blast right. probably shot Where something at you. Alright, great. Oh! Uh, oh, ammo, ammo. Oh no. It's all good. Yeah, just some in front of you. <laughs> People are asking to dominate the blast. I don't know what level uh, the Bright Lord oh, is. Yeah, right I don't now. know if we're high enough level. Yeah, so you have to have him be a low, lower level than you to be able to dominate him. <laughs> I mean, to recruit him, technically. Oh, and he's summoning his sappers, man. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Bombs. Okay. Whoa! And... <laughs> Alright, one last chance. Just to add to the tension. To add to the ch tension, indeed. That's so, like Drake got his attention. So, we're, we're down to like what, four minutes to go. I believe in you. He's almost one tenth of his health. <laughs> He's uh, vulnerable to stealth. Oh, yeah. But I think what you should do is just get that Drake and just make him a whole lot barbecue. I think what I should do. Uh -huh. yeah, go to stealth. Let's let's go with the spiders. Because poison should work. But we have about uh, a fourth of the spiders to come back, and I don't know if we have enough time. Uh, once, because we were we're shutting off in four. Really? Yeah. All right. What about the Drake? All right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So just as a reminder, you guys asking questions unrelated to the mounted. Uh, 
It's remember, we're just ask, answering questions related to. Hang on, tell what I'm going to do. Sorry, I'm just going to go in and get the trusty fireballs. Oh, remember, that's good. your Drake has only a certain amount of health, though. I know, I know, but it's a race against time. So. It's a race against time. He's at health, half health. Fireball. Oh, oh well. he's dead. He got killed. That guy is. A, he's he's barely done anything. Whose idea was this? <laughs> it was chat. Chat. Why? Oh. <laughs> Alright, um, oh man, so uh, we have a question that I got from the forums that I wanted to tackle. To see, see if you can answer this question mid-go, which was, um, oh, what was it? Here we go. So, are there like a cra any Kraken-like creatures? Because there was the Watcher in Shadow of Mordor. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, not that we directly have to oh, fight. I feel like it's useful. Honestly, get some health back. Two minutes. People have faith in you. I mean, he's at health, half health, man. And a couple good headshots would do some serious magic. Build up my uh, Elven Wrath. That was kind of handy. Oh, he's throwing that guy at me. Oh, no. Oh, he threw your own guy at you. That was awesome. All right. Let's see. Pick a Bone Crusher. Well, mounts at different levels would be upgradable. I mean... If you consider a dire character an upgrade? Well, and plus the fact that depending on what you're wearing, their attack and defense and so on can um, improve. Oh, yeah. Sorry, oh, I, I'm not going to talk <laughs> Sorry, I, he's got to focus. Oh, my spiders! My spiders are back. Oh, nice. Hang Some of the spiders. Come on, spiders. Nice. So they're going to start eating lots of people. Yes. Oh, he's down. Oh. Whoa. Remember, if you kill his grunts, that will increase your Elven Wrath. Whoa! Oh, out of shot. And a beast. You know, one thing that's nice is that uh, he's kind of hitting himself with his own explosions. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Yeah, how's that health going? Last chance, friend. Put your hands in the air if you just don't care, says Blue Bro. Table flip. Not today, Brian. That's an ammo. I don't see any nearby or on the minimap. He's getting close. Oh, the stealth! He's extremely vulnerable to it. So if you can keep getting good stealth shots on him. Oh, his friend. All right, Mike, technically we would stop now, but I'm gonna give you another few minutes to see if we can take this guy out, because it's too good. There's some behind you, if you go downward towards us. <laughs> you can swear. <laughs> Let me see, let me keep answering some questions. Can we give a dire character to be mounted? I know that a... Yes! Do the domination! Oh! Do it! Do it! Oh! Oh god! Oh, okay, we're making... Oh. If, if you get your might up, man, you can do the consume. You got consume. A and B. A and B. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Uh, recruit this guy. Yeah, he's mine. He's too good. Oh, we did it. Oh, well done. Well done. All right. I'm going to switch it back to us, good friend.